Hi guys, Detective Jim. Hi Detective Paul, we're out again for you. Hello, boys and girls, Detective Jim. Detective Paul, and we're back out on the field again for you. Yeah, we're on the another one of our permissions. Uh, not really been on this one very much, but I've been going past this the last five years and it's terribly foul. Well, boys and girls, first target, and uh, I do believe that's a spindle wheel. Uh, it's crushed, a bit crushed, but yeah, definitely a spindle wheel. Right, we'll catch you on the next one. Well, good morning, guys. We're back out for you again. Good morning. Uh, it's a little bit grey. Jim's just over there, he's already found a spindle whirl. So yeah, we're on this nice little bit of a play permission of ours. And I've got my first target, and it's right there. I think it's a bullet. Yep. It's a bullet. On to the next. Well guys, <laughs> you've just seen my last find a bullet. I turned right to James. Oi. That's definitely a coin. Let's see, can we get it clean? Two push Uncle James. Yeah, please. There you go. Just wipe this lens a little bit, guys. It's a bit water to so try and clean it off a little bit. People will be shaking it, you know. Yeah. See if we get anything on it. Oh. No, I think it's just a blank one, guys. Can I have a quick look, James? Yeah, it's very worn, that mate. Yep. Well, guys, first coin. And we've only been at it 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, spin your wheel. Can we have a look at your spindle wheel, James, yeah, please? A uh, bit of a clay pipe. I've just found that bullet. Uh, what signal was you getting, James? I've got a 99 on that. A 99? 99. And a nice little spindle wheel. It's a bit flat, uh, a bit the, bent, uh, but yeah, it's definitely one. Look at markings on it. We're on the Kanaka side, but... Kanaka, James? Kanaka. Kanaka. So anyway guys, on to, the next. on to the next. Well guys, Big Jim McClask is on another. Solid 83. Solid 83. That was a big size then James. We out? No, not yet. Yeah, it will be. Whatever it is, it's in here. It's in the clod. What's in the clod? And it's a piece of poop. Just a piece of poop. A piece of Booby prize. Yeah. <laughs> On to the next, James. On to the next one. 
Well guys, as me and Jim say, we show it all. It's a CCR, as everybody says. If anybody knows what that is, lol. <laughs> Big washer. Massive washer. On to the next. Well guys, I have a bit of a live dig for you. Can I have a listen guys? Gonna sell it for 50 is it? That sounds good. Only 54, 53. Let's see what you get. That sounds nice, that ball. He just set his uh, earphones back. You want to dig the old first, Paul? Yeah, dig the old one. Yep, there is definitely something on there. Let me get back to you guys. Let's just give it a quick wash. Right, We're back. We're back. And it has a number. Just spray it again, Jim. Yeah. I'm sure it says 396. Perfect, that, Jim. Three, nine, six. Could have been a bag seal. Sorted. Nice one. On to the next, guys. There's nothing on back. So yeah, three, nine, six. Yeah, so it wasn't just a piece of lead. No. Right boys and girls, Jim's over there with his target, I'm over here with my target. Just pull my pants up. It's round. It's definitely a coin. Let me give it a clean, I'll get back to you. It's toasted. It's toasted. It's toasted. Yeah, it's toasted. Yeah. Oh well. Going in the pot. On to the next. Right, boys and girls, I've just dug this hole here and I pulled this out. No, I've got a clue what it could be. Yeah, uh, Paul's there. Paul's got a target there. Yeah, it's just a. I think it might be a draw, Paul, to be honest. Yeah, by the looks of it. Pretty cool, though. Right, catch on next one. Well, guys, my next signal. A club clasp. There we go. A little club clasp. On to the next. Action. Well guys, scratchy signal. I was getting a solid 81, 82, then it had dropped to a 0, 4. Sweeped it crossways, sideways. And I still get the same with a bad scratch anyway. You wanna say? So 
Oh, huh? fuck! It's an old one, isn't it? Aye, it is. I'll have a sweet round, see if there's anything else. Got it. Just have a sweet with detector. Got that, I'm going back with her. Boys and girls, we've had a fork, all we need now is a spoon, we've had a couple of bits, we've only been here 20 minutes, we've been on this field when it was tuffed, early anything, now it's been moulded up, joined up and what they call it, ploughed, ploughed, <laughs> yeah it's given up a few secrets, so on to the next. Well boys and girls, Paul found one. Alright, it's my turn now. A fork. We've been half. Uh, just a fork. Alright, catch you on the next one. Well guys, we apologise about the wind. But you've just seen the last dig. The fork. And the last thing I said to Jim, I'll have a scan, see if we can find the handle. And I've not even took it out. <laughs> He's only got to find the handle. Go. <laughs> cool. You can weld it together and have a tea with it. <laughs> it's feeling very lonely there without the spoon. Right, boys and girls, I just dug a hole just over there. I moved over here because I was thinking. And, Where, did you, Where uh, did you find it? Just, just about here. Oh, well, that line you've been on? Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's really muddy. So I moved over to the side where the grass and I found a part of a spoon. And we do believe it's silver. Uh, and if you just look, you got right in there. CMH, looks like to me. Yeah. Uh, if you look right there, we've got some kind of a uh, hallmark. Hallmark there. Yeah, first bit of silver. Silver in the hall, yeah. James. So yeah, just it's quite mu muddy here. Yeah, I've you, just gone through there. Yeah, you're thinking like bloody mad, so I came over. And yeah, a nice bit of silver. All right, we'll catch you on the next hole. Hello, boys and girls. Look this target to see and we have a buckle. So, see if I get a quick wash. There we go. A nice little buckle. Right, I'll catch you on the next one. Right boys and girls, I just dug this little target here, uh, but it's this here, piece of lead, but it's got some kind of shape on it, it is hollow, I've not got a clue where it is, not got a clue, right catch on next. Well guys, the next signal, sorry about this knocking off, sorry about the wind noise, came from there and I was wondering if it was just a piece of lead but it looks like it's got markings on nothing on back oh yeah anybody can tell me what it is please leave a comment all things lead if they can on to the next well boys and girls just on the surface uh yeah Draw our handle. 
So for the deal. Alright, catch on next. Right, boys and girls, uh, I found this. Uh, I haven't got a clue. It's a piece of lead. Some weight to it. Some kind of lead weight or something. I don't know. Alright, catch on next. Alright, boys and girls, Paul's on his way over. Uh, well, walking up this way anyway. Uh, just dug this hole and it's. I do believe that's an old doorknob. Alright, catch on next one. Well, guys, we've come to this end of the field and there's targets go off. I've just come from down there. And it looks like we have ourselves a coin, everybody. And it's thin. Very thin. Let me give it a clean up or catch back with you. Well, guys, to me, it looks like a fairing, but there's nothing on it. Crusted. Well, guys, it's starting to rain, but the next signal is to go out and hit some coin, guys. Here, rub on the pants. Coins. You look. I think it's a George, guys. I think you can just make him out. On to the next. Right, boys and girls. I dug this target. It is out. It have. I have seen. Seen it. I'm just waiting for Paul to come over. Oh, look at that. I wonder. I hope it is. I hope it's a silver. I'll wait till Paul to come over. Okay. Paul's with me now. I'll let Paul see if he can see it. Oh, I go around this area. Sir? Yep. John, take it out. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's a ring. Here, you give it camera. Oh, lovely! Let me get back to you guys. It's deadly at the hip pole, it's been a polish. Give it a The old spit of polish. Oh wow, look at that. Paul Mark. <laughs> that is awesome, mate. I need to do a silver dance somewhere. You yeah, certainly do. The silver streaks all over. Well, not silver streaks. That is awesome, buddy. That is absolutely brilliant. You got all that why I do a silver dance? Oosh, 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 a silver dance. Oosh, 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 a silver And it's the shibby. The shibby, the shibby, 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 shibby shuffle. It's the shuffle. It's the shuffle. Absolutely made up. Ringing the hole, guys. How pretty is that? 
Oh man. Oh yeah. Thank God for Absolutely that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. That, that was worth a day out. Congratulations James. Silver in the hole. What do we say? Ring you on the next turn. There you go guys, bit of a slimy stick. Is that a button? It's a draw pull, I think. Oh. Ah, it could be. That's a big one. Not as good as your ring. No. But it's a found. It certainly is. And we've got lots to go yet. Got all this to go. Oh yeah. And a quick coin. Oh you done bloody well mate. Jeez. What do you reckon that is? And it's not a spindle whirl. No, it's just it's lead. Could be, a, could be a lead uh, pipe. Something like that. Up right. to the next I'm guy. Gonna... Well guys, the next signal, bit of a conundrum. Uh, anybody have any ideas what this is? Finial or something? Drop a comment. On to the next. Well guys, I found a funny one. If anybody can tell me what this is. It's got writing on. And when I turn it over, it's like teeth. Anybody knows? Give us a shake. On to the next. Alright boys and girls, no target. And there we go. Uh, oh, it's a shilling. Uh, let's see, can I get a date? There we go, guys. It is 1956, I think. Oh. Yeah, 1956. It's a shilling, so it's. I think it's 50% over. I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, yep. Nice find. Alright, catch you on the next one. Well guys, it has took a while, sorry about the wind, try and get in a bit closer James, but I think we're on to silver. <laughs> Solid 70 now, it's a shilling. It's a shilling. Where's the spit of polish James? I've got it here mate. There we go. Jim Paul, Spear and Polly. It's a registered trademark, guys. Look at that. Nice. George. He's 19. He's 19. 1920. 1920. Look at that, guys. And it's full silver. Yeah. Well done, mate. This feels. There's not a lot on it, but there's good finds on it. When you find them, yeah? When we find them. I had a bit of a silver spoon, a silver ring, 
and now we've got a silver coin. There you go, guys. There you go. Look at that. 1920. Love that, mate. Well done. Time to do the shibby, the shibby, the shibby, 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 shuffle to the shilling. Hey! Silver in the hole, guys. The... Well, guys, it's a. Can you guess what this is? I've found about three or four of them now, and uh, I'm not too sure. Square up bottom, hole at middle, like a ridge. If anybody knows, post below. On to the next. Right guys, the target there, uh, dug, dug it out. Right boys and girls, we have another target there and it's another piece of a fork. Or it could be a piece of spoon, it's just the handle. Right, catch on that one. Well, boys and girls, I've got no target, and um, I've never found one before. It's a lead boat. A lead toy boat. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That is awesome. Ah. Oh. <laughs> toy boat, a lead one. Bet that don't float. Alright, catch on the next one. Bye for now. Apologies for the car, guys. It's got a cracking signal. 66, 67. And I'm looking for it, and I noticed something at the side of the hole. Looks like the S and in the air. Let's give it a clean air. Eh? Feels a bit light that James. Let's get uh, the old speed polish out. It's a George. Oh. So let's get back to you guys. Right guys. I do apologize about the wind. Yeah, we're gonna see if uh, we can block it somehow. It's a, a George and it's 1940 something, it's a uh, silver system. There he is the uh, cheeky chap. Georgie Porgy. Well done Paul. Silver number four guys. Well boys and girls, that's it for an, an excellent day out, uh, lots of cracking finds, a lot of finds to be honest, to show you some of the stuff we got, plenty of clay pipes, a nice big one for up there, uh, it's got a groove on where it's yeah, here, got, it? yeah, you used to get a maker's name, but there's none on there. There's plenty of forks, aren't there? Oh yeah, plenty of forks. Plenty of forks. Paul got Spoon one there. Ends. We've got fork there, fork there, fork there. Forks everywhere. Uh, and bits of spoon backs, weren't there? Yeah, bits of spoons. And it was absolutely all sorts. Paul got quite a lot of lead there. Uh, I picked up some pottery, call that. I do like some uh, potteries. Uh, sometimes door knob, door handle. I've got a buckle. Aye. Can't go on without a buckle. And also round weird thing. As I said lots of finds. Uh, the drop bolt. 
piece of lead, I think it might be a lead bong or something, bon, uh, bomb or something. Yeah, plumb bob. Uh, spindle wheel. That's a crack I like, spindle it's wheel. It's on the Kanaka side. This here, I'm going to clean it up because I found some light and it had a, 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 a pedal on it. Some kind of pedal. Uh, where's the battleship? Oh, where's the there? Yeah, where's the battleship? Where's that? Give us a minute, guys. Stay farm this, we think. If we can find it. Oh, there it is. And this there is, it is. This here is absolutely amazing. This little battleship. I think it might be the Bismarck. Uh, or something like that. But that is absolutely awesome. That's a pretty good find. I'd like to show you what Paul's got. He's done quite well on coins today. Yeah, uh, one, two, three coins. Is that a coin? Maybe, could be. Uh, yeah, you had quite a lot of fun, don't you, mate? That, uh, I'm 99% sure that's one of them coin medallion things. Uh, it's got writing on the back. With a figurine on the front. So I think that is. I'll be looking at it when I get it all yeah, cleaned uh, up. That piece of lead with the numbers on. I think that might be a, like a cattle number. Yeah, yeah. And Paul finds for today. Well, what can I say? He has this absolutely gorgeous George. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's a 1920 one shilling. Well, that's pretty good, that ball. Hey, silver, silver, oh. isn't it? Well, I saw it up because the rain's on its way. Uh, and this one, it's a 1940-something. I uh, can't really see the date, and that's a silver sixpence. Well, that's a no good find, that ball. Well done, then. Uh, my finds uh, found this coin. Uh, it's blank, you can't really see on it. A silver part of a silver spoon with initials C G M M something. Yeah, it's it? got something, some kind of initials on it. It's got R and R there. And Starfire. I think this is Starfire for us for today. Is this silver ring? Uh, it is hallmarked. I will take pictures. It and, looks like a belt. Uh, yeah, it looks like a belt, but. For me, that should be on this side, but it's too short. And it's very, very sharp yeah. on the point. Very so sharp. if anybody can give us any info. It is hole marks. I will try and get uh, pictures of the hole marks and put them on. So, yeah, that's it for us. Been an absolutely blast of the day. Wind was, it has been a yeah, blast. The wind's picking up. And you can tell the clouds here are so good. The clouds are coming over, so that's it. That's us. That's a wrap from Detective Jim. From me and him, him and me, you and me, me and you. See you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>